Oh, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crypto Coffee and Lo-Fi. It's not the um, usual time that I make these videos, but I thought considering the massive um, liquidation cascades that we saw today, and the massive expansion to the downside that um, you guys might get some value out of my, updi my updated higher time frame thoughts now that we've had the move. Um, if you've been paying attention to these episodes for the last, like, I would say, yeah, pretty much since the start of October, I've been calling um, a move down to the levels that we saw to, that we saw get visited today. I think that the bull market is going to continue up from here. Um, I've entered some decent sized longs right at the lows um, earlier on this morning. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go over my thoughts in a sec, but I really, I do just want to go over this. Um, so if you guys want to just listen to this video quickly. Higher time frame bullish level that was responsible for. We are in a temporary downtrend and off break. Now once we retest this range here, this range right here, we then get a sweep of these lows and then a break above the high. Now you can see we are in a temporary downtrend and I'll explain exactly why I think that. But we are yet to retest the higher time frame bullish level that was responsible for this move here. So I think before we see the continuation of this overall trend, I think we do need to see the retrace. They're just below 50k. We may not get that and I'll explain. So let me just turn this back up. So we finally have a retrace back to this level um, where I've now entered some longs and I'll point out the invalidation on a few of the pairs that I'm watching here in just a sec. Um, some exciting news though, uh, developers that I've been working with are finally um, putting together the final versions of the easy and easy out strategy. So if you guys have been following along uh, with me for the last few years, I've been on Twitter since 2017, I've spent pretty much the better part of six years um, refining and developing the strategy, right? And still to this day, the hardest part about well, any strategy or any kind of trading plan is for me anyway, um, executing the trades and managing them live and managing my risk. So um, although I am profitable, there's been a lot of stupid mistakes that I've made and I'm sure a lot of you can relate. So over the last year, it's been my goal to kind of get my manual strategy and get that turned into um, a strategy that is automated that I can, you know, just let run on the side. This way I can focus a lot more on um, narrative positions, you know, and um, higher time frame kind of fundamental moves, right? So, so far um, for what we've done, we've gathered some stats that are absolutely insane. Um, obviously, this is what I expected given I have done rigorous testing of this strategy anyway but obviously any um, strategy that's executed by a bot should outperform the um, statistics that i can get manually trading live right so there will only be 50 copies sold in total right so this is not going to be something where i start selling copies of this to the masses obviously my goal here is to kind of um make sure that the edge doesn't degrade at all so if you want to come over to my Twitter and check out this post. So um, the first screenshot here is some stats. That's the soul on the one minute chart. This is Bitcoin on the daily chart. And this is ETH on the H4. So a lot of these stats are insane. Obviously, um, when we do release it, we will be releasing um, statistics that are, go into a lot more detail. But this is just what we've gathered from the... Um, strategy section on trading view so there'll only be 50 copies um the next 20 people that go and pick up a copy of the easy and easy out strategy this is the manual strategy with pdf and videos um three out of those 20 will pick up a free copy of the indicator and when i do sell this thing it's going to be thousands of dollars so it won't be um you know a hundred dollars a month or anything like that it's literally a money printer so i'm only doing 50 copies and i'm not going to be giving it away um except to friends and family of course so no worries. Now that that's over and done with, um, let's go over to Bitcoin and just rehash exactly what we've seen over the last few days play out, right? So as I've explained in the last few videos, well, really since October or mid-October, is that when you see accumulation at the start of a move, it it's almost certain that at some point you get a retracement down to this move now 
while price was sitting up consolidating um, in this area here it was too early to assume that price was getting ready to uh, retrace right but after we saw some distribution right so a sweep of this high followed by a break in structure followed by distribution all in these lows and distribution here after we saw that then i came to the conclusion that uh, the most likely scenario would be a retrace before continuing up now we have seen that retrace i think this is the bottom um, all i'm doing here is playing the stats you know if i do get stopped out in these positions that's fine um, but i'm i'm confident in this right so if you're new here, I'm just using the same pattern to find accumulation distribution. I'm using that same pattern to find support resistance. And then that same pattern again as my entry trigger, right? So what is that pattern? You can think of it like a head and shoulders. So in a bearish scenario, I look for a sweep of a high. Then once that high is swept, I look for the low that is responsible for taking that high to break. So we break below it right here. I then look for a retest um, somewhere inside of this range where I then look for the same pattern to form again. If I do see that, then that is the first sign of distribution. It doesn't necessarily mean that the market is reversing. It may just mean that we're getting a push down into a higher time frame level of accumulation. So sweeping out this low, breaking above the high, sweeping out these lows here, breaking above this high. Since this whole leg up, like I explained earlier, we didn't actually get the retest. So here's our retest today. And as you could see, everyone on Twitter was panicking. There was like over a billion dollars in liquidation, uh, liquidation. So it's yeah it's absolutely insane um but it is the perfect scenario for um a market bottom right if we like you know over a billion dollars in liquidations right into a bullish level right into previous areas of accumulation it's normally a good sign um and everyone panicking on twitter you know the r and r is solid for a long here even though this is a scary place to be um buying so my invalidation is below this low. However, I just want to point out, even if I do get stopped out of my positions, right? So let's say price decides to come down like tomorrow or the next day and continue to have a red week. So let's say we come down, take this low. I would then need to see like a weekly close below this level to assume that we are headed into a full-blown bear market. I don't think this is going to happen, by the way, but, you know, I'm just going to point it out because when you're actually taking these positions, you've got to have a plan, right? You're not just fucking blind longing at support with no clear invalidation. And it, I, you need more than an invalidation too. You need a plan of how you're going to get out of the trade and then what you're going to do once the trade has stopped you out. So um, let's say we get a weekly uh, a move below this low, then I'm out of my longs, right? But if we get a weekly close below, I'll then look for a return into this zone, where I'll then look for redistribution. So a sweep of a high, followed by a break in structure. So that is the bearish scenario. I'm not looking for that. I doubt that that happens. I think this is the low. Wouldn't be surprised if we don't even come down and take this wick, and that tomorrow we just run some lows, we accumulate and uh, move up into Monday, Tuesday. So similar story for Ethereum. A bit of a ramble on there guys but you know all i'm doing is just using this one pattern so this is how i kind of go through the plan here so sweeping out a low breaking above these highs right here then sweeping out these lows breaking above the high right here again perfect retest of this level sweeping out these equal lows this low right here and this low right here you saw the liquidations this morning billion over a billion dollars how many people are getting stopped out just below these lows? But again, this is exactly what we are pointing out in yesterday's, or not even yesterday, since October, that these levels will get retested. And it is the perfect scenario for a bottom right now. So manner as well, I'm in deep longs. I got in longs below this low. Uh, really lucky that I did that. You know, it isn't easy um, catching these bottoms. And I suggest that like, you know, I don't suggest that everyone does it, but I think over time, when you see this same thing play out over and over and over and over again, you can kind of be a little bit more confident. Um, and as long as you're following, still following a, a strict kind of set of rules, I wasn't just blindly setting buy limits. It still ticked every box that I needed to be ticked to enter a trade. So mana, I think is going up, sweeping out this low, breaking above the high, swept out this low. You can see how this daily is going to close here. Any retrace 
um, on the lower time frames here. So if we go into the hourly, if we get a strong daily close and then we get some reaccumulations or something like this, then we can look to get along. See, so sweeping out this low, breaking above the high. If we can retest this level and reaccumulate, you can look to add to your positions, targeting this high, targeting this high. Uh, BNB, similar kind of story here. Sweeping out this low, breaking above the high. Then as we retest, sweeping out these lows, breaking above the high. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect retest. So here's the very start of the leg. You look for accumulation at the start of the leg, being the sweep of a low, followed by a break in structure. This is the first sign of accumulation. The break above here is the break in structure. And then once we see a retest of this zone and we see reaccumulation, that's a sign that uh, big players are kind of entering the market, right? That they basically used up the liquidity below a set of lows to fill their positions and now they're looking to protect those positions that's what the uh second confirmation kind of um confirms in my opinion anyway that's just how i um, build a narrative around what i'm seeing so anyway not to overcomplicate anything i think the low is in i could be wrong i pointed out my invalidation and i pointed out uh, a bearish scenario which i don't think is going to happen um, i'm confident in these long positions, I've been waiting over a month for this stuff to hit. So it'd be dumb of me really not to um, put the foot on the gas for risk and really um, have a high conviction bias. No worries. So going back to what we were talking talking about at the start of the video, the first, the next 20 people who pick up a copy of the easy and easy ad strategy with the PDF and videos. So going over everything that I go over here out of three three out of those 20 people will get a free copy of this strategy and this thing's going to be valued at at least five thousand us dollars so what you choose to do with that is completely up to you but obviously keeping it and using it is the smart idea i'm not going to be giving it away to many people uh 50 people at maximum this is my retirement plan i'm just going to be sitting on this thing so no worries if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe um, I'll be back again Monday for London Open. No worries, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.